Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my 50th episode of Rogue Tech. This is awesome. So, we're almost done finishing up the high G burn drive, and that would mean that in our engineering section here, we've got all our structural and system support stuff up and running, which means the KF drive will be online. So we're gonna move ourselves right now um, to test this system out. We've got 21 days before it's ready to go, but there's a planet or a system here really close by. So we go to the star map, it's 16 days away. So we're gonna go over here to Kleinwelt, 16 days away, primitive civilization, token population uninhabited. No one can see us doing this attempt at our jump, so we're gonna move there for now. So let's just travel there. 75,000 is not really anything. It'll take us past the financial report, that's okay. So I think once we get our KF drive working, uh, we can use our ship, or the, we can use the Argo to pull off some pirate missions. Rather than actually working for certain people, we can start pulling missions on our own and do some piracy out here in the Outer Rim. So I think what we'll do is we'll attempt to do that. We want to acquire some wealth and obviously more mech, mech parts and stuff. So Sir Kinnis Federation is still fighting Steiner. Uh, Hegemony versus Lothian, they're fighting again. Or they just, I guess, a, um, finished their war. Ready to go over financials, whatever you and 604,000, not bad for having almost three full lances of mechs. So we're going to keep it in the center here, accept this. All right. Let's get to Kleinwelt. Now they're not going to have a store or anything, so I really hope we have enough parts to uh, make this jump work. I'm pretty sure we do. If not, we're going to have to hit some more facilities, I think, and try and steal some more stuff. But we may have to go to the Inner Sphere for that. Almost there. There we go. Excellent. All right, welcome to Kleinwelt. So now that we're here, at our yeah, there's no store or anything here. And there probably is no contracts or anything at this planet either. So let's just have a quick look at the contracts here, just in case we need to make some money. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen here. Uh, let's quickly go to barracks and then we'll go back out. I don't think we have any uh, points to spend on any of our pilots here. I've been trying to keep them up to date as best I can between episodes. Yes, Not really sure if it's one of those things that people would like to see is what you're building. But uh, Jasper, we're still going to work on more on piloting for him. Uh, payrolls look basically gunnery and tactics. Uh, Vane Skater, we're working on more piloting. And Voodoo, okay, that's fine. So let's go back to contracts. I don't think there's going to be anything here. No, there's nothing here. So that's perfect. We're in a place where we can actually do a jump so we're gonna maneuver out to the jump point and once we get there we're gonna make the attempt at making a jump over to the next system now let's go to the uh, navigation here we're gonna go to star map and we're gonna make an attempt to jump here which is Schmidt so it's 18 days away uh, is what's this place like Mondra is 17 Cooper town is 12 days primitive civilization pirate presence Let's go there, uninhabited water world. It's only 12 days, which is better. So that's where we're going to head. So um, let's travel out to the jump point, and we'll make an attempt at uh, traveling there. So 25,000. So we're heading out to the jump point now. So now that we're here, our, the work on the Argo is completed. The high G burn drive is done, and we're ready to do a jump here. So let's continue and see how this uh, KF drive works. Expected approach time. One, eight. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. Samir, can I get a 5-1 check on our current position? You picking anything up out there? Negative, XO. Center clear. Looks like we kind of got it working. I think in order to make sure that this thing is working properly, um, we're gonna need to do some more rating. So, um, 
Yeah, let's. We're gonna have to work on getting that cataract up and running, or cataphract. Um, we'll get that up and running, and then we're gonna have to pull off some more missions. So I think what we'll do, as we're sitting here in space, let's have a look at the mech bay real quick. So let's go to, go into bays. We're gonna pull our uh, pirate vindicator um, out of service. So it's got an LRM-15 clan, ER medium, heat bank in it, uh, PPC triple plus, endo steel, ultralight gyro, X, X clan XL engine and a um, TC cockpit. So we are gonna remove that from service. Let's confirm this. And now we're gonna update our cataract here. So I know we were talking about perhaps putting a uh, autocannon 20 in this thing, but I'm thinking about putting an ultra 20 in and make, see if I can make that work. We, we, we tried to do a melee build a little while ago and you know we could do it, but we didn't really have, it wasn't really quite right. So we're just going to reduce the armor on the back slightly because this guy's not going to be in really close that we're going to have to worry so much about the back armor. So let's have a look what we got here. Uh, quickly, let's go to equipment and let's grab the stuff that we know we're going to need. So we're going to need to get at least um, an arm hand on the other side now. The ballistic weapon hardpoint is in the torso here which is kind of, I guess, kind of a better thing. We need the TC cockpit in here instead of the uh, spiked one. Um, we want to put the ECM in. Um, probably definitely going to need the exchanger, so let's just drop that in for now. Klein XL engine definitely needs to go in. We have a regular XL gyro, which I think I want to throw in. The heat bank, we might need, let's just drop that in for now. Let's move the exchanger over to this position for now. Regular XL, or regular um, endo steel, which we can throw in. We're not going to have any missiles, so we don't need the Artemis. The mask can stay out for now. I think we'll leave the 270 fusion core in for now. We want to have give them a little bit of good mobility here. So we're down. we got some pretty good tonnage left. So let's have a look at our weapons. So we were talking about putting an, an Ultra 20. We do have a Clan Ultra 20 here, so let's just go to Ballistic real quick. Um, where is our Clan Ultra 20? AC 20... We not have a clan. I thought we had a couple of clan ultra twenties. Oh, there it is. That's just a regular AC twenty. Oh, we have clan ultra ten. I thought we had a clan ultra twenty. I guess we don't. Well, regular ultra twenty. Let's drop that in there. Um, we're definitely going to need at least four tons of ammo, maybe five. And I think we're going to need to buy that. Um, let's go down to ammo. Yeah. We got two AC-20 ammo. We're gonna need some precision ammo. And yeah, so let's go buy that. Well, there's no store here, so we can't buy that where we're out here. So that's fine, we'll just drop those in for now. Remember that we need to keep three tons left over. So our heat here is now 42. So we're definitely gonna need um, a little more heat sinking at some point. So let's have a look at what else we can throw in here. So laser weapons. Um, we can go with, if we're going to be a little closer, there's the regular large laser, which is pretty good on heat. Ha damage is half decent and better chance to hit. We've got a medium laser, medium pulses, that PPC that we took off. Um, 65 damage for 35 heat. And that's the stability damage one too. We were enjoying using that the last time, but that's going to be made up now with this Ultra 20. Stability 25 times 2, so that's pretty good. So secondary weapons, I'm thinking maybe pulse lasers. Oh, we don't really have a lot, do we? We've got one medium pulse, and that's it. We do have a large pulse, but that's 40 heat for 50 damage. 55 damage with 15 variable. Hmm. And laser hard points are the only other things that we have on here besides the these guys here. We could throw a tag on this guy. Let's probably do that for now. And we've got a bunch of tonnage left. So we're gonna need heat sinking. We've got 42 already. Um, we're gonna have nine, so we got 39. So we're pretty close to flush right now, minus 20% weapon heat. So we can't afford to put bigger weapons in, I think. So maybe we try I know the pulse accuracy would be good, but this lance, these guys are pretty good people at, pretty good at targeting. So maybe the uh, clan large ER. And 
So this is what? 35 and 42 is 77 minus 20% is let's see 7.7 is about 15 so that's 63 so 63 heat and we've got 39 we're gonna need some double heat sinks in here uh, maybe we drop the medium triple plus laser on this side and maybe the medium pulse on this side and we need to keep three tons left over and then the rest maybe heat sinks I know it says we have good heat efficiency here. Yeah, Alpha Strike's 84. So let's go. We do have double heat sinks left over here. Got four of them, but is that better? Let's put a couple in. And then maybe regular heat sinks. This, we're going to need to have three slots left over. So I can go with another double. Maybe we put that in the arm and then three slots left over. See, that's not going to work. So we're going to have to use regular heat sinks, I think. Going to save this slot for the ammo. One, two, and then one more. Put it in this arm over here. Then we have three slots left over for ammo, so perfect. So our heat sinking is 65. Alpha Strike says 84, but that's not anywhere close, because the Ultra 20 is 42, and 35 is 77. 87, 95, 105 minus 20% is 84. Yeah, that's about right. And our heat sinking is 65, so that's really lousy. I'm wondering if the Ultra 20 is overkill, though. I mean, it's never overkill, especially if you're punching above your weight. But, hmm, let me think about this for a second. If we go with the Ultra 10, the Clan Ultra 10 instead, that's 10 tons, and this is 16. I mean, we could do go that route. I really thought we had a Clan Ultra 20, that really sucks. Um, AC2 rotor, we have an AC5 rotary as well we could use. If we turn this guy into our long range boat again, go with the AC5 rotary, we'd need less ammo. And it generates a lot less heat, which, we, which means we can put more heat sinks in. And it's almost the same damage if we hit. So this is like 90 and 90. And this is, you know, basically, well, this is like 180. This is like 160. If we hit with everything. Hmm. It's a good question. We could reduce the ammo, too. We could go down to three tons of ammo rather than having to have five. We still have about 11 turns of firing continuously. Maybe we try that instead. Although this guy is going to be a slugger. Maybe we pull the medium pulse then, rather than a pulse laser, we just use a regular medium laser instead. Uh, that'll save a little bit. Small pulse is 25 damage. More heat though. If we go with just like a regular medium laser, that's saving 8 heat off the top. That's a little closer. And we have one extra ton. Hmm. First of all, let's move the exchanger into the head. I think I am going to switch that around. I think I'm going to pull out the Ultra 20 and go with the AC5 rotary instead. So let's do that. Um, now we have AC5 precision ammo already, which I don't think we can use with the rotary anyway. Yeah, so we can just use one, two, three tons of AC5 ammo. And we got five tons left over for stuff. Or we could go the Gauss rifle route too. This is 10 tons for 30 times four. It's only five heat though. And then we could play the double ER large game with this one. Gauss rifle ammo doesn't explode either. 
So if we do, let's try this instead. Let's go this route, take these out. I didn't think I was going to use this, but it's only 10 tons. It's not a big hitter, but it's got good range, almost no heat. We're going to need at least, yeah, we're going to need a fair amount of gauss ammo though. So that's 8 turns. That's 10 turns of firing. And then if we pull out, if we move, let me see here. What if we go with the two clan ER larges? Let's pull this out for now. One on each side. And then we've got five tons remaining. What's our heat like now, though? We are really good on heat now. Yeah, 60, 65. We're really good on heat. So maybe we do, instead of doing the large on this side, we can go back to our PPC. So once again, we're into a long range boat here, but I feel more comfortable playing at longer ranges. So we're closer here. We still don't have the room for it. Hmm. So let's put that clan large back in. We got two slots for five tons. What can we do for two slots and five tons? Well, there's a narc beacon for two tons, but it's th or three tons, but it's two slots. Haywire is the same. We're not going to be really that close if we're going to be going with this Gauss rifle. Um, can't add any Pharaoh. Wish we had Clan. Um, yeah, I wish we had the Clan um, Endo Steel. I mean, we could upgrade the engine. That's the other thing, too, is we can put a heavier engine in. 275. This is 11 tons, and this is 10 and a half. Gives us one extra slot. How much does this one weigh? Twelve and a half. Give us more speed and mobility. So if we do that, we could take the heat sinks out of the side, put them in the core. That gives us three tons left over. And then if we go back to our weapons, lasers, we can pull out the clan and put in the triple plus PPC again, which we have enough room for, and that would be it for weight. So, I mean, this, the thing I like about this weapon is the stability damage, right? 32 and a half, whereas the clan ER large laser is only doing eight. This is definitely a knockdown potential. This isn't really, I mean, it's doing five stability damage times four if we hit with it all. Now what if we, let's, now let's analyze this for a second. So we've got the space for this. So rather than that Gauss rifle, uh, let's go back to weapons. So we can do ballistic, we can do an AC-10 Ultra because it's the same weight. More stability, more damage, well more direct damage. It does about the same damage as the uh, Gauss rifle. Less range though, but our range is covered with the ER large and stuff. So we can pull out the Gauss ammo. So let's have a quick look here. We're going to drop in the AC-10 Ultra. And we're definitely going to need at least three tons of ammo, AC-10 ammo. So let's put that in. Two and three. And that gives us two tons left over. And how are we doing heat again here? So 65, 75. That would be two heat sinks, I think. Uh, I think we do have another double heat. we got double heat sinks left over, I think. Let's have a look here. We do. We got two double heat sinks left over, which we can then drop in. So I'm thinking this is going to be our build. It's definitely an upgrade from the last model we had. So heat sinking 77, Alpha Strike 75. So I think that's pretty good actually. So we did get the managed to get the auto cannon in. We got our PPC back from the original model with excellent stability damage. I really like this PPC. And then we got a clan ER large in for additional pinpoint heavy damage. So we're doing three hits of 60 and one of 65, plus a tag, which is going to help everybody out. So I've got the ECM Guardian in, heat bank in for overheating. So I'm thinking this is probably a pretty good layout for now. 
So let's confirm this. 202 is not too bad in 25 days. So we're going to confirm that. So that's going to take a little while. So we'll continue on our way to the system. Um, and then we're going to have to bug out of here again. Uh, I'm not going to use the KF drive to get out of here. We're going to try and find some parts first. Um, and then we'll we'll use the KF drive to start going again. I don't want to uh, have any more malfunctions as we had here. Okay, so let's have a look at the navigation, the star map, really quick. And I think maybe we're going to jump into Magistry of Canopus territory. Go to Ballad here, I think. It's probably the closest in time. It's only 14 days. So let's travel there. We're going to use a jump ship this time. It's got pirate presence, research, small population. So we might be able to pull off some just pirate missions on this planet. We're just going to drop down and steal some stuff. If they got research and stuff there. We might be able to, to uh, hit a couple factories or something like that or manufacturing plants for equipment that we might need. Ooh, nice. The Argo's command deck begins shaking again. I can't stand this anymore, uh, Sumeri says. This has been happening every two and a half hours like clockwork. It makes me want to break something. Every 2.4 hours, to be precise. Dr. Murad Tones is infuriatingly reasonable, and only while the Argo is under thrust. Sumeri flashes you, you an exasperated look. Why can't we just get this fixed? After 17 seconds, the shaking stops right on schedule. Well, let's get this thing fixed once and for all. Excellent. So that's done. Maybe that was what was causing our problems. I bet you that was what it was. So once we get to the new system, I think we can probably test this out again. So we're going to have to learn a couple things, I think. We're going to have to figure out where the pirate points are in a lot of systems. Because I don't think I want to be traveling in the uh, regular KF lanes. So we're going to find some pirate, pl pirate points. Which means I think we're going to have to hit some pirate bases. So we're going to have to hit some pirate bases, at least the well-known ones, the ones that we know have the ability to uh, um, have like uh, space vehicles and stuff. At least drop ships, right? Going to get past all this. So we're definitely going to have to pull some missions off once we get here. So we went from over 2 million down to uh, 510,000. But that's okay. We'll have the cataract up and running. And then we'll be able to uh, pull off a couple missions. One with our main lance, one with the secondary lance. And we're going to start looking for more mech warriors to see if we can find some more people to, to um, head up our third lance, our pirate lance. Well, well I guess we'll all be pirates now. So we're going to have three lances anyway going. Oh, figures. Look at this. AC-20s. Crit bonus, stability damage, eh, not anything better than what we have. LRM-15, double plus, stability. And anything else interesting here? Exchangers, they're pricey here. We can go We can go elsewhere and get them for better prices. But I want to get some more energy and, and uh, ballistic and missile um, targeting computers. So yeah, I think we'll end the episode right when we get the cataract back. And the next time when we come back for episode 51... Uh, we're going to pull off um, at least one main mission with the main lance, try and make some cash here on this planet, and then with the second lance, we'll pull off another mission right after that. I don't know whether it'll probably be two, two separate episodes because they take quite a while to run. But yeah, until um, the next time, if you like this video, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out. And until next time, hopefully the KF drive is working, and I'll see you later.